money long ago through corrupt court rulings, common law, but then the entire world debt is far less than was created in real savings in one generation by our warehouse receipts, and we can change the world by chasing them, by cashing them in, by cashing them in. That would be, I want to see this process. Mark, come here and show me. I'll videotape it. I want to see it. I, 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 maybe it's possible. Somehow we, the children, have to buy back these trillions of dollars of debt created by these warehouse receipts in order to get rid of our slavery. And in reality, paying this entire fraudulent world debt is no problem, period. And frankly, if everyone got their million dollars back for themselves, would undeniably destroy the whole world. I think when he's saying world, he's talking about like the biblical idea of the world being destroyed. We, the warehouse receipts, are taking a chance that our worthless yet real savings can be used to wipe out all debt. By This, by definition, is doing a huge charitable act. Of course, as defined in the Warehouse Receipts Act, and in this way we get an answer to Solomon's laughable excuse of, was it all done for love or hate? In the Warehouse Receipts Act, are we allowed to claim it for a charitable cause? In the end, Ecclesiastes 9, only time will tell. Uh, I, you know, I could get into these things. Actually, maybe I will. Why not? Ecclesiastes 9. Only time will tell, and we all, rich or poor, are... Oops. Sorry, this is not good for that. Okay. Um, maybe I'll read them all at the end or something. A.K.A. Judgment Day. Bottom line, we live in the most criminally organized society in the history of mankind. That is the most fantastic statement ever. Not to say that I love or disagree or agree or anything with any of the stuff in this. I'm just saying that's a great statement. I'm not even going to quote who it is because names don't matter anymore. Never did. Government is a racket and constructed by evil men who under Romans 3 excuse of they did evil so that they could so good could result. Did Foster create a money cartel that worships Shatan, an ancient mythical god of order created by the Bar in Nineveh? As Jesus said, nothing good ever came from Nineveh. But then, Luke eleven twenty nine, the men of Nineveh just might be divided by a message that makes them rise in indignation and say, we are not those who are destroyed because we believed and so are saved. These banksters are nothing but paper dragons, straw men created to be destroyed in order for us to wake up. The entire concept of a world debt is fraud, and even if this entire so-called debt was all forgiven, what would forgiven would that would mean that the rich would still be the richest man in the world. In the end, we are all supposed to take a chance on love and accept that our spirit, our soul awakening, is directly connected to the redemption of all debt. And that's exactly what's being offered from a voice of the West who did not disturb a reed in Isaiah 43. Yet wields a force that can move a mountain, Isaiah 2. So if you don't want to hear the um, actual Bible quotes here, then uh, you can turn this off now. But, uh, I, you know, uh, Mark Boyer, please tell me which one of your, uh, your, your writings you want me to read next. Because I wouldn't mind reading some more. I'm not saying that I back everything up or I sign on with any society at any time or anything, but Ecclesiastes 9, that's the whole Ecclesiastes 9, eh? For all this I considered in my heart even to declare all this, that the righteous and the wise and their works are in the hand of God. No man knoweth either love or hatred by all that is before them. All things come alike to all. There is one event to the righteous and the wicked. To the good and to the clean and to the unclean, him that sacrificeth, and to him that sacrificeth not, as, as is the good, so is the sinner, and he that sweareth, as he that feareth an oath. This is an evil among all things that are done under the sun, that there is one event unto all. Yea, also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil, and madness is in their heart while they live, and after they go to the dead. For to him that is joined to all the living there is hope, for a living dog is better than a dead lion, for the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything, neither have they any more a reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. Also their love and their hatred and their envy is now perished, neither have they any more a portion forever in anything that is done under the sun. Go thy way, eat thy bread, 
with joy, and drink thy wine with a merry heart, for God now accepteth thy works. Let thy garments be always white, and let thy head lack no ointment. Live joyfully with the wife whom thou lovest all the day of the life of thy vanity, which he hath given thee under the sun all the days of thy vanity, for that is thy portion in this life and in thy labor which thou takest under the sun. Whatsoever thy hand findeth to do, do it with thy might, for there is no work nor device nor knowledge nor wisdom in the grave whether, whither thou goest. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. For man also knoweth not his time as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds are caught in the, in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them. This wisdom have I seen also under the sun, and it seemed great unto me. There was a little city and few men within it, and there came a great king against it and besieged it and built great bulwarks against it. Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he by his wisdom delivered the city, yet no man remembered that same poor man. Then said I, Wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not heard. The words of the wise men are heard in quiet more than the cry of him that ruleth among fools. Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but one sinner destroyeth much good. So that's Ecclesiastes 9. In the end, apparently the only time will tell, and we all, rich or poor, bear the same fate. That's, uh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's the same for all of us, apparently. Um, justifying. Uh, where's the next one here? In Luke eleven twenty nine, it says, this is better to be shorter. Sorry for everybody who's not, uh, liking the Bible, but actually likes my videos and is actually listening to this. I'm not uh, really sorry because uh, it's nice to hear it. Anyway, 1129. And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, This is an evil generation. They seek a sign, and there shall no sign be given it, but the sign of Jonas the prophet. Yeah, well, I don't think it said anything about... Oh, as for Jonas was a sign unto the Ninevites, so shall the Son of Man be to this generation. Oh, okay, wait. In Nineveh was where the bar was created, an ancient mythical god of order created by the bar in Nineveh. Oh, is that where Jonas and the whale went, maybe? Anyway, always doing research, but Hebrews 10, 10, 39... If nobody knows Isaac Newton, you got to do some research on this guy. He's phenomenal. Uh, only because um, there's a whole bunch of stuff that he wrote that didn't get found until like 1940s or released to the public until the 40s. Could be all fake too. Who knows? But uh, no, I don't think so. I would like to see those original manuscripts. Hebrews 10.39, But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. We are not those who are destroyed because we believed and so are saved. If you uh, file this one with the government, there's two R's in there. Um, so, Mark Boyer I like this guy a lot. I love what he does. I love his work. Shout out to you, Mark. I love you. I should be talking directly. But anyway, um, um, what I wanted to say, yeah, Isaac Newton and all that stuff that came out with uh, him that did the uh, that did the uh, Apple uh, idea there that figured out all gravity and pretty much everything. Him and Einstein are like the two smartest guys everybody talks about, right? And here's the thing. 
So he says all that stuff, and they'd want to cover up, like all this stuff that he talked about with the Bible was hidden for a long time, right? Because he knew that it would be covered up, or at least he would be uh, thrown in jail or burned alive or something. But uh, instead, he wrote it all down, and it got hidden for a long time, and then was released through Israel. That's where apparently it's sitting right now. So I don't know about the authenticity of, of the papers, but I'd love to see them, like, or at least read what, what's in them. It's supposed, to be, it's supposed to be public, so Isaiah 43. But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. And it goes on to talk about the reed. It's a pretty long chapter, I'm not going to read the whole thing. In Isaiah 2, you can read it yourself. You know what? You should read it yourself. I'm going to read. I could read, but I already read you a long passage there. And I don't want to over overwhelm any of my watchers. But, uh, you know, feel free to make video responses. Tell me you hate me now that I talk about uh, the Bible. Or, uh, you know, whatever you like. Merry Christmas.